Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to explore Schrödinger's equation. Our goal will be to understand its deep meaning and offer a simplified demonstration. The Schrödinger equation is presented in the following form. The left side represents the total energy of the particle. It includes kinetic energy and potential energy. The right hand side, IH bar, d psi over dt, represents the evolution of the quantum state of the particle over time. Let's try to understand its meaning. The Schrödinger equation, fundamental in quantum mechanics, describes the evolution of waves. Complex. So, the complex wave functions associated with particles Formulated in 1926 by Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger, it constitutes a cornerstone of modern physics. This equation is called non-relativistic because it does not take into account the effects of Einstein's theory of special relativity. It thus mainly applies to particles moving at speeds much slower than the speed of light. Moreover, the classical Schrödinger equation does not take into account spin, an intrinsic property of particles, uh, microscopic. This spin is an intrinsic quantum angular momentum inherent to particles. So this spin reflects the wave nature, uh, particles and their interaction with magnetic fields. Relativistic effects and spin are described by a fundamental equation. Then another equation more general and more complicated than the Schrödinger equation, which is the Dirac equation, formulated by the English physicist Paul Dirac in 1928. However, that's not our topic here. We will focus solely on the Schrödinger equation in this non-relativistic framework in many quantum mechanics textbooks or online courses. The Schrödinger equation is often presented without proof as a fundamental assumption. Some teachers claim it cannot be rigorously demonstrated, but that does not mean it arose out of nowhere. Schrödinger followed a precise historical and physical reasoning to establish this equation, building on concepts previously developed like the works of Planck, Einstein and de Broglie. We will try to reconstruct the history of this equation and understand Schrödinger's approach. The history of quantum mechanics begins in 1900 with Max Planck, who introduced a revolutionary hypothesis to solve the problem of the ultraviolet catastrophe. This problem involved the inability of classical theories to explain the spectrum of radiation from non by predicting an infinite intensity for high frequencies Planck proposes that the energy exchanges between matter and electromagnetic radiation do not occur continuously but in discrete packets called quanta the energy of this quanta is given by the relation e is equal to r to nu where h is a fundamental constant called Planck's constant and mu is the frequency of the electromagnetic wave. Although Planck introduced this hypothesis reluctantly, mainly for mathematical reasons, he paved the way for a new vision of physics. In 1905, Albert Einstein extended this idea by explaining the phenomenon of the photoelectric effect. He postulated that light is composed of particles called photons and that a photon transfers its energy to an electron when it strikes a metallic surface. This exchange frees the electron and can generate an electric current. This principle is the basis of modern technologies like photovoltaic cells. Around 1913, Niels Bohr proposed a quantum model of the atom to solve another major problem. According to classical physics, an electron orbiting a nucleus should lose energy through radiation and eventually crash into the nucleus, making matter unstable. 
Bohr postulates that electrons can only occupy quantized orbits corresponding to discrete energy levels. They can move from one level to another by absorbing or emitting a quantum of energy, which explains the emission and absorption spectra of atoms. Although this model was a big step forward, it remained limited, especially because it did not consider the wave properties of particles. In 1924, Louis de Broglie brought a revolutionary idea. Electrons and all particles possess a wave-particle duality. They can be described both as particles and as waves, with a wavelength given by lambda equals p. On H, where p is the quantity of the particle, in 1926, Erwin Schrödinger revisited this idea to reformulate a mathematical description of quantum mechanics. He proposed that the electron be represented not as a point-like wave, but as a standing wave around the nucleus. This wave is described by a complex mathematical function called a wave function, which contains all the information about the particle. Using the principles of wave mechanics, and the previous works of Fresnel, Jacobi, and Laplace. Schrödinger established the Schrödinger equation, a fundamental differential equation that governs the evolution of this wave function. It is important to note that Schrödinger at the time did not yet understand the probabilistic nature of the wave function. This point was later clarified by Max Born, who interpreted it as a probability density indicating. 